When you reach a certain age, functions such as sight, hearing, and memory begin to fade. This video is one of several I have created to help senior citizens use their computers to make up for these shortcomings. My name is Richard Spring, also known as the Senior Wizard. I hope this video will help you make your life a little easier. The name of this video is Sub and Super Scripts. I'll show you what they are and I'll show you how to apply it to your Word document. We had a weekend visit from our high school grandkids. Of course, they had to do their homework in chemistry and algebra, but they didn't have the required software to properly show the work. However, Grandpa is a senior wizard and a chemist slash scientist in a past life. Here's the chemistry homework quiz that they showed me. One, write a molecular formula for ammonia. Two, show formula reaction for sulfur and nitric acid. And three, show nitric acid neutralized with sodium bicarbonate. Hmm, looks simple enough to me, but the kids pondered on it. And the results are correct. However, if you look closely, ammonium, NH3, hmm, something wrong with that three. Uh, sulfur plus, plus nitric acid reacts to produce sulfuric acid plus nitrogen dioxide and water. Hmm, everything looks good except there's still a problem. The third formula is also correct. However, all these need subscripts. Let's go up to the first one, ammonia. We'll select the 3 on NH3. Then we'll go to our keyboard. On the keyboard, find and locate the control and the equal sign key. Hold the control, press the equal sign. Now, the 3 becomes a subscript. Let's continue on going down to the, the 3 on nitric acid. We'll select it with our mouse. And then on our keyboard, find and press the control key and the equal sign. Now the three on nitric acid gets small. Continue on the two on sulfuric acid. Select control equals the four on nitric acid. Select control equals the two. And select control equals and the two on water select control equals making subsets dropping down to our last one take the three select take a three on nitric acid select it control equals and continuing on and we'll finish these out and the two on water, and finally the two on carbon dioxide. Now their chemistry test is correct and they should get a hundred on it. Just be aware that this keyboard shortcut only works on word processors such as Microsoft Word. Now let's take a look at the algebra homework quiz. Show Pythagorean Theorem for the hypotenuse of a right triangle. Oh, I remember that. Show formula for the difference of two squares. Show 25 cubed and the results. Okay, let's start getting going here. The kids did their magic and what happened? The results were correct except C2 should be C squared a2 should be a squared and so on. We need superscripts. So select the first two and then on your keyboard find control shift and the equal sign. Press all three. The results are a superscript. 
Now select the two under the A, control shift equals, the two under the B, control shift equals. Continuing to the second problem, select the two on A, make it A squared, the two on B, make it B squared. And then finally, let's go down to the third one. Show 25 cubed in the results. It is not 253, it's 25 cubed. So we can make it a superscript. That is mathematically correct. Now this should get 100 on the math test. Well, I was able to solve the grandkids' problem, but what else could you use super and subscripts for? If you wanted to show somebody what today's temperature was, the degree sign isn't correct. I used a small letter O and made it a superscript. Highlighted it, Control Shift Enter. If you're making a formal paper or document, you may need to add footnotes or references. Again, you select a small letter T, make it a superscript, and then the number one in brackets, select it, make it a superscript. Now, Normally, on a word processor, if you type second, third, or fourth, it'll automatically make add the superscript designation to second, third, and fourth. However, if it doesn't, you know now how to do it. Select it, hold down the control shift, and hit the equal sign, and you'll make it a superscript, third, second, third, and fourth. And finally, uh, if you have a copyright symbol at the end of a word, you select it and you make it a subscript. If you're looking on your keyboard trying to find that copyright symbol to see with a circle around it, you won't find it. Look for one of my upcoming videos called Character Map and you'll find out how. I hope this was helpful to you. Subscript, superscript. Remember, you can only use this in a word processor, but you can really have fun with it. Thanks for watching my videos. I remember, helping seniors help themselves use their computer. If you like this, please subscribe. It's free. And remember, our generation are the movers and shakers. Bye for now.